The base airdrop is confirmed and coming soon. We've made tutorials on this for years. We're going to cover our plan, thoughts and entire step-by-step -step process to secure that base airdrop. So before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into it. And therefore, assuming that you have got yourselves a wallet, guys, the next step is to very simply fund your network with assets, of which is going to be the Ethereum token. If you've already got Ethereum on base, guys, then you can skip this step. However, personally, I'm going to bridge over to the base ecosystem utilizing their native bridges, and we have got two options. One of them is Super Bridge, of which you can bridge to and from all of the most popular super chain networks. Or you also have Brid.gg, and Brid.gg is also another popular choice for super chain networks. However, guys, it's entirely up to you which ones you want to do. I'm personally going to use the Super Bridge. I think this is the best one for the base ecosystem, and therefore this could very well help us not for just the base airdrop, but an optimism airdrop and the super chain ecosystem. So I'm going to get myself logged in. Once you're in, guys, you can see that we can bridge from a variety of different networks, whether or not that's Ethereum, BNB chain, Arbitrum, Unichain, whatever networks that you want, guys. There are so many to choose from. We are now officially ready to get ourselves a base name. And that means basically, guys, we've got ourselves a username that we can get for the base network, of which is going to then simplify our address from a 0x to any name that you want. So for example, like I said, we could get, I don't know, Gandalf if we wanted to. That is, of course, registered. Someone's going to take that. I don't know, for example, if you wanted Tony Soprano, maybe someone's not taken that. Most likely they have. See, here you go. Tony Soprano.base.eth has been taken. You could do High Crypto Guy, as you can see, available. Don't know why I haven't got that one already. It only costs 41 cents per year, which is very, very cheap. I can very simply toggle it as my primary name if I wanted to. Or I can get this subdomain just for a few years anyway, maybe five years, let's do it. And that is the third step complete, guys. After you've got yourselves a name, I personally believe this is going to be one of the allocation requirements. From here, you can very simply customize your name however you wish. Boom, you just tell us about yourself, X, Y, and Z. You don't have to do that. And what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to show you some of the best decentralized applications that we can use to swap tokens on the base network. And you can very simply find them over on the base ecosystem. Or what we can do is we can then show you our favorites, which include Aerodrome Finance, the leading decentralized exchange on the base network. This is going to be our first stop. As we can see, once we've got ourselves logged in, all we need to do is very simply swap tokens back and forth. Now, by swapping tokens, guys, we can very simply swap from ETH to USDC or any token on the base network. And what you want to do is, guys, you want to basically stack up as many transactions and as much volume as possible just by swapping tokens on a decentralized exchange. You can also use an aggregator, and I'll show you that very shortly. But, for example, guys, if I wanted to swap into Aerodrome tokens or Zero tokens or Morpho, any token I want, you can see them all here available. Another popular decentralized exchange I love to use is Uniswap. Of course, this is the leading decentralized exchange across all networks. All you're going to do is very simply come over here, filter it down to base. Next, choose your token which you want to swap. It could be ETH. Down below, choose the token you want to swap into. Like I said, guys, the more tokens that you interact with, the better, in my personal opinion anyway. It might not be an allocation requirement, but sometimes it is, and I don't want to miss it if it is. Next stop, choosing a token. It's going to be Morpho this time. Guys, I'm just going to choose a minuscule amount just as a guide. $3.32, I'm getting 1.85. Boom, swap. Next thing you know, it comes in your wallet, and bang, we have now interacted with another token. We've done another swap. We've done another app interaction, which is Uniswap. This is how to qualify for a base airdrop, in my personal opinion. And that is going to be through lending. And this is another fantastic way to secure the TVL of a network. So, for example, guys, we can deposit assets to lend out for other people to use our assets for us to earn a yield, which is nice passive income, as well as, of course, securing that airdrop. Now, there's a couple protocols that I like to use when lending out cryptocurrencies. Of course, do your own research and do whatever you want to do. My favorite is Aave, and of course you probably know what Aave is already if you're not new to crypto. However, what you need to do is get yourselves logged in if of course you want to use this platform. Next, as you can see, I'm going to now filter it down to the base network, which we can see up top. And you can already see, guys, that I'm supplying $122 worth of ETH and $9 worth of USDC. I've been supplying this for a very, very long time. Why have I done this? Well, because I have always believed the base airdrop is coming. And I personally believe as well, guys, that the longer that you are able to keep liquidity pools in and the longer that you are able to lend out tokens, 
the bigger the airdrop that you receive because I personally believe there may be a multiplier attached to the length that you deposit assets. And we're going to be over on Lido, the ultimate liquid staking protocol which expands over to multiple Ethereum compatible networks. Here guys, you can see that it's available on Arbitrum, Base, Unichain and many other networks. However, of course, we are here to focus on Base. So all we wanna do is guys, get ourselves wrap stake eth of which if you want to get this guys as you can see we can get wrap stake eth by bridging it over from ethereum we are moving on to nfts and this is going to be over on OpenSea. and OpenSea, of course have got their own airdrop coming soon which you can watch the video in the description down below if you are interested in qualifying for their final rewards phase however guys on the left hand side we can see that we've got the collection section on the left hand side once again we can see we can filter it down to base here guys we can now see all of the top NFT collections on the base network. Whether or not you know all of these guys or whether or not you are very new to NFTs, basically if you are interested in them guys, they're all here for you to check out. Honestly, I have not got a single clue on what these NFTs are, most of them anyway. However guys, by very simply conducting volume and holding specific NFTs, you can very well qualify for the airdrop potentially. The last thing we want to do is check our activity and we're going to check one from what's called on chain score XYZ. You don't have to get yourselves logged in and that's what I'm going to do. I'm personally going to enter manually my address, which I'm going to do by going up into my MetaMask. I'm now going to go up top, copy my wallet address, come down here and very simply paste it down below. If you are and you need any help whatsoever, please let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I'm here for you guys. Don't forget that we've got a giveaway coming on Sunday. The winners will be revealed on Sunday, so you only have until Saturday to obviously qualify. That is for the chain link giveaway, guys. We can't wait to give it away to you. Amazing community. We appreciate every single one of you, and we'll see you in the next video.